Hi class, in this video here, I wanna walk you through challenge exercise 6.2.1. And in this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be given some data and we're gonna to have to construct confidence intervals. Now, when you scroll up in your textbook here, you're gonna notice that, and I put it in Word here, you're gonna have these two tables of critical values. And there's table 6.2.1, and it says critical values uh, for common confidence levels. And you're gonna see this Z here, and then table 6.2.1, um, 2.2 says critical value T stars for selected degrees of freedom and, and significant levels alpha. You're going to need these two um, tables here to answer this challenge question. Okay, so the first one says, suppose the mean height in inches of all ninth grade students at one high school is estimated. Okay, the population standard deviation is five inches and the height of six randomly selected students are given here. Okay, so it says the first thing it says is find X bar. So I'm going to load up Excel and do this in Excel. So first off, they tell us the data here. They give us the raw, the raw data. And it looks like the values are 68, 74, 73, 62, another 74, and 66. So I got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the first thing it says is find the mean, x bar. So that's equal average. I'm going to select the students, and it looks like 69.5. So I'll put that in there. Okay, so it says the margin of error at 99% confidence. Okay, so did you notice here it said the population standard deviation of 5 is given? Okay, so you're going to give be given the, so this was the mean. I'm going to put pop standard deviation was given that was five and then it's gonna say you're gonna need to find the margin of error for 99 percent confidence interval so what that means when you're given the population standard deviation you're going to use these first critical values here so again it was a 99 percent level of confidence so confidence levels 0.99 your Z critical value is 2.576 2.576. Okay, so the margin of error, what this formula is, is it's always, you're gonna go equals, it's the critical value times the standard deviation. So critical value times the standard deviation divided by the square root SQRT, the square root of the sample size, which is six. And it looks like here it's 5.258. So they want it to go to two decimal points here, so it's gonna be 5.26. Now it says give the 99% um, confidence interval. Well, this right here um, is just your point estimate, the bottom value, the point estimate minus the margin of error. So you're gonna go the lower bound, it's gonna be the point estimate minus the margin of error, which you're gonna get as 64.24. And then the upper bound here, okay, is the point estimate plus the margin of error. So you get 74. 76 when I round it. So 74.76. Let's check. And we got it. Checks everything checks out. All right. So the next one is going to be very similar. Just the difference is, is we're going to use the t distribution here and you'll see that subtle difference next. Okay. So the first thing it says here it says is the additional growth of plants in one week are recorded for six plants. And it says, it goes on to say, with the sample standard deviation of three inches and a mean of nine inches. Okay, so this one here, you're not given the data. You're given the sample size. So if you look back here, the sample size, it was said for six plants. You were given the sample standard deviation. 
that was 3 and the sample mean of 9 inches. Now it goes on to say, it says find T star at the 0 0.10 significance level. So whenever you're given the sample standard deviation, you're going to use this chart here. Degrees of freedom are the sample size minus 1. So there were 6 minus 1 gets me 5 degrees of freedom. And it wanted a 0 0.10. So that's right here. So my critical value is going to be 2.015. Now what is the margin of error here? Well, it's basically the same thing. It's your critical value. Well, our critical value was 2.015 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size, which was six again. So our margin of error looks like 2.468 when we round it. So 2.468 when we round it. And now what is our confidence interval? Well, the lower bound, well, that's just your point estimate minus the margin of error. So sample mean minus the margin of error. And they want this to three decimal places. So it's 6.532. And the upper bound is going to be the sample mean plus the margin of error. And this looks like 11.468 when I round it. And we got them right there. So that's just how you walk through these problems. So just as a, as a reminder here, whenever you're given the population standard deviation, you're going to use this first chart. And then whenever you're given the sample standard deviation like you were here, you're going to use this chart here.